In this video, we are going to be looking at the Kirby Bauer or disk diffusion method of antimicrobial susceptibility tests. We're going to look at three different organisms Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, and this Churichia coli. And we're going to be using four different antibiotics to see how susceptible they are to them. So to start, we want to create a bacterial lawn of each of our organisms on the Mueller-Hinton plates. So I've got a sterile cotton swab here. And I'm just going to take my Pseudomonas. Dip the swab in. Remove some of the excess liquid as I take it out of the tube. And then I'm just going to spread it over the surface of the plate while I roll the cotton swab. So the idea is to get an even covering all over the plate. So now I'm going to use my cotton swab with E. coli. Same thing, I'm going to dip it into the broth. and then just spread it over the plate. So now that I've finished making all of our bacterial lawns, we're going to put our antibiotic discs on the surface of the agar, just like this. So I've got them equally spaced from one another so that there's plenty of room for the ring of inhibition to show. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of forceps that's been waiting in alcohol. I'm going to flame the alcohol off. And then the discs come in tubes like this. So what I'm going to do is just poke a disc out, grab it, and then place it onto the plate, and then stick the forceps back in the alcohol. So after I've gotten all the antibiotic discs on each of the three plates, I'm going to incubate these for 24 hours and then we'll look at our observations then. So after 24 hours, it's now time to measure the zones of inhibition on each of our three organisms with each of the four antibiotics. So just some general observations first. Starting with Staph aureus. We can see there are zones of inhibition around all four of the antibiotics. For E. coli, there are zones of inhibition around three of the antibiotics, just not penicillin. And for Pseudomonas, there's a small zone of inhibition around erythromycin.